but I feel like that'll be the real test of time, right? Like if these dolls will last forever, I feel like they will if they keep the quality where it's at. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and thank you so much to MGA for gifting me these dolls for free today to share with all of you. Just when I thought I was safe, when I was like, you know what, I'm all surprised they haven't been putting out anything that I really need or want, I'm gonna save money, and then they come out with a really cute line, like the makeover line, and I'm like, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I need all these cute little pieces. So today, MGA sent me two out of the collection for the, oh gosh, OMG Sunshine Makeover Series. I feel like with every doll line, there's just more words added. So it's like, I don't want to mess anything up. So they gave me two of the dolls. I have Bubblegum DJ, which was my personal favorite from the series. I'm so glad they sent me this one. This one was the one I really, 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 really wanted. Like I love her so much, giving me like 90s rave, just so cute. She's going to EDC or something. And then with this one, she's I would say mod if I had to put like a 60s mod aesthetic to her and her name is Sunrise. And there's also Stitches, which is that one right there in the picture is also in the series available. All these dolls are out now wherever you find dolls. And so I've seen them at Walmart, I've seen them at Target, I've seen them on Amazon. Uh, I'm sure there's other stores that I'm missing that they are also sold at. So they are available widely. And they also have Sunshine Makeover Tots, which I have some here today that I'm going to open up and see who we got. Now the thing with these dolls, you put them in the sunlight and then they change color. I mean, that isn't new to toys. I feel like we've had color changing dolls, toys, and products over the years. Now it is new for OMG in the sense that they have done color change with like black light but they haven't done it with sunlight. So that's why I thought it was kind of cool. I'm like, okay, everybody has sunlight. You know what I mean? <laughs> for the most part, unless you live in Alaska for those few months when they don't have any sun, then it would be really hard to see these dolls do their thing. Um, but yeah, you put them in the sun and the color will change on their hair, which I think is really cool. It's something different, especially I feel like it forces almost like, <laughs> obviously as a collector, I go outside, but you know, like let's say you're getting this for a child. It's like, hey, we have to go outside. To the sunlight so you're not just stuck in your house all day i think it motivates them it motivates them to get out or you could just put on your window sill if you don't want to go out and interact with humans but you know i like the concept of being able to go out see the doll transform it's like encouraging outdoor activities with your dolls okay sure we'll go with that <laughs> so as you can see the packaging is the newer style packaging where you can now see the dolls the surprise element is no longer really there um even though they're still called l surprise of course so you know what the doll looks like i prefer that so you don't see you know hello the other ones you can see we got wonky eye these if you buy these at a store you can look at it and go mm, she looks good i'm glad <laughs> i personally prefer to see the doll i'm over the whole surprise element even though the tots still do it but I feel like the tots make more sense because they're little tiny surprise dolls versus the bigger dolls like you kind of know who you're getting anyways mm. are kids still wanting surprise toys i ask that in every video and i feel like they still do on some level but i don't know i'm glad it's kind of going away in the toy world all right so enough talking about the stuff in the box i'm going to first today open up bubblegum dj and we're going to open up the makeover dolls the little tots see who we get all right, so I got around the packaging, and for those of you who have not opened the Sunshine Makeover Dolls, it's just one box and then this little piece of cardboard. So they've definitely eliminated a lot from the overall, like, OMG packaging. It doesn't bother me. I never really... I did, for the longest time, save the packaging from a lot of the OMG dolls because I thought they were so cute, and there were closets and pieces, but... For cost-effective purposes, I get why they're doing it. And for the majority of people, they probably throw out the boxes. So less cardboard, less plastic. I'm not mad at it. Um, I just enjoyed the concept of the old packaging with the closets on the other dolls, but I get, I guess why they did it. <laughs> inflation, right? You know, it's just, you hear from every collector saying that, that like, oh, inflation sucks. Like the packagings are getting worse. And you know, sometimes the doll quality is less, but that's everything. I mean, even down to jelly, which I know this is a, <laughs> how is jelly related to the dolls? Like this jam that I love to buy went up $3. So if you think of the cost of like jam, almost going up a 50% markup within one year's time. So dolls trying to keep at the same price point, they're going to have to cut costs somewhere. So I definitely see what the packaging on these is less. And there's, oh yeah, I was gonna say there's no stand, but there's a stand. So at least we still get a stand. So that's, good. I'd rather have the stand and less packaging than no stand and a sturdier box. You know what I mean? So with the doll, 
I think she's stunning. I love her, love her, love her. She is so bubblegum. Like, she's happy. She's, the colors are just there for me. Like, I just love everything about her. I love her little space buns. I like that they are actual twists, and they put little bows in her hair. They're plastic, but they're still, they go with the aesthetic. I think everything is just so beautiful on her. I love that there's a wave in the hair, and there's just a lot of fun colors. She looks like cotton candy, and I love the concept of having, like, the cool boots with the covers over it. Again, she's giving me like she's going to a rave and I keep going like EDC or like an EDM type of style concert because she just has so much going on. Even down to, see, we did not lose quality here. The little rings are hearts with little tassels, like a little bit of like, not tassels, what would you call it? It's like a belt, kind of try to be like a belt, but it's a ribbon material dripping down that says LOL. So they're still giving us quality <laughs> just taking away stuff from the box and so keeping it at a 20 i think these are like 26.99 on most places price point so i'm glad they're keeping it at a more reasonable price point just eliminating the i hate to say it, like waste that most people would have which would be the packaging um i feel like she doesn't really come with a lot of things uh most of the like the older omg dolls we would look at you'd get like a purse or at least a couple of little accessories her she already has the earrings on and the hair clips on which i prefer i guess a kid opening it up would want all the surprise pieces to put on i'm glad that she's just the way she is <laughs> especially for me like unless i buy a second of a doll i normally don't really redress my dolls so for her to be out of the package and ready to go Thank you. Now she does come with one piece which I thought was super cool is these amazing goggles and they're like diamond cut and they're velcroed on the back so you're not trying to like stretch the rubber band over her head. At least they fit on her face. Oh my gosh that is so cool. I want to put them on her head though. Oh but see her space buns are there. Hmm how can I set it on her hair without messing up her head? <laughs> okay I got them on. They're not perfect but I, I tried. <laughs> I tried. I got them around her space buns. They don't, they don't fit perfectly over her head because she has the space buns, but you get the look that they're trying to do. Obviously, you know, you have the goggles and that whole aesthetic. Like, I love it. She does have, oh, that's so cool. She has a top underneath this top and you can, and it's like a plastic heart and you can see the top underneath. I love that. I think, again, the style is cohesive. I know what kind of person this is. I can tell kind of like music she listens to, her aesthetic, everything. I love her. I think she is great. And like I said, she doesn't come with a lot of extra pieces, but here I will show you what she does come with. They do come with, of course, their brush because hair play is very important for a doll. So we have the comb and then we do have the stand, which this one is in a like, ooh, I was gonna say lime green. This is not iron. Lemon yellow. We're gonna stick with fruits. And it does come with the stand. Like I said, I get why they're eliminating more for the package, cost effective, and I'm glad that they didn't totally get rid of quality on the doll. I feel like if they got rid of quality on OMG dolls, that would just be an uproar because we're so used to such great quality with the OMG dolls, even down to her nails are still pointed. Thank you, do not get rid of the nails. <laughs> Beautiful pink nails. And I mean, like even the covers, we have textured fabric on the leg covers. We have, like I said, the little like belt material, the plastic heart, and then the fur around the trim of the collar and the wrist. Like, I'm glad they did not eliminate the quality on this doll because she is just too cute, too cute. Oh, I love her. Definitely a DJ, definitely bubblegum. I totally see it. Now with the two of the surprise balls, I did <laughs> uh, pre-unwrap. Now the one has something that says magic hour is one of them. And then the other one says it is time to shine. I wonder what they are. Now these of course are the ones that are in the recyclable balls. Same thing as the packaging. I feel like a lot of people didn't keep the balls that come with these. So it makes sense that they are doing the recycled. I prefer that they're recyclable because for space, it was becoming a lot because for a while there I was keeping all of the LOL surprise balls and I was like, well, I have nowhere to put these. <sighs> there are just too many. Ooh, I love her hair color. This one is so cute. Hold on, hold on. She's got her earrings already in, but look at this beautiful hair color. Oh, I love that. So this one is the Magic Hour one. Oh, that is so cute. Let me see all the ones on the list. 
And then all of the pieces, of course, are wrapped in tissue paper still. So they're still getting that surprise element. They didn't eliminate all of the packaging material. And this line has a lot of really cute ones. I don't know if that's my favorite. I don't know. I can't decide. So here are all of them. Let me make sure. Okay, are you in focus? Yes. So here are all the ones. I don't know which ones are. Okay, list below. What is your favorite? Because I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. Hmm. So this one here is Sea Angel, and she's an ultra. Oh, I got the ultra rare. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right, look at me getting those ultra rares. All right, and then the next one is Time to Shine. All right, let's see who we got. Let's see who it is. I'm just gonna go straight in for the doll. Let's see who we got. Oh, this one's interesting. Okay, so this one's a fancy. Her name is Snap. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. So a new mold for the hair, because I don't remember seeing one like this. If someone knows one that looks like this, please let me know, because I do not remember. <gasps> These are so cool. Okay, okay, let me get them dressed up, and then we'll get her back, okay? Both are very cute. I don't know which one I like better. So the mermaid one, which is Sea Angel, looks like this, and this is her little sippy cup. I love that she has a little water bottle with a little, like, shell on it very adorable i definitely like the color to her hair so giving us little mermaid vibes and then this one is so cool her name is snap she comes with these very i'm getting like early 90s music video from her she comes with these really cool glasses and then she comes with this little like pop drink i just love her hair i think she's so different her name is snap very very unique see just when i'm like okay i cannot collect any more tots they just keep coming out with such cute ones like oh just so so cute so different oh thank you so much mga for sending me these dolls today for free like honestly it's so much fun and that's one thing about the omg line which consistently is giving us fun i feel like between the fashions whether it's the little surprise tots or the omg dolls also i'm totally in love with the fierce dolls still i hope they make more of those <laughs> I hope there's more of those coming because I love the fear stalls. I feel like they're just always giving us quality and it's fun. Yes, things have changed over the years, mainly in packaging though, which I would prefer, like I said, I prefer things to change in packaging than they do in the dolls. I don't want to lose doll quality, but package quality I'm fine with because at the end product, we're looking at the doll every day on our shelves and I would rather them keep the quality going. Um, I feel like that will be the... I mean, they've already been around for so many years, but I feel like that'll be the real test of time, right? Like if these dolls will last forever, I feel like they will if they keep the quality where it's at and keep going with that quality. It's gonna be hard, because like I said, everything from jelly to dolls is going up. So I get it, but I hope we don't lose anything from the OMG line, because it is fun and there's a huge fan base for it from kids to collectors that, I mean, like, I, I feel like I'm not alone in this. We, we go and we gravitate towards the OMG line because they're so much fun, but also they're really good quality and fun, which is hard to find sometimes in nowadays, a 26 to $30 price point. There's a lot of the brands where we're seeing, you know, lesser quality and they're still trying to push hard for that $25 to $30 price point where OMG, yeah, the box isn't as extravagant, the surprise isn't there, the closet isn't there, or even with the tots, yeah, they're keeping them at 10, which I'm glad. I'm glad they're not going up to like $20, but the balls aren't as fa fancy and cute looking. But that's okay though, because I'd rather them be recyclable because like I said, I, if we're, they're gonna cut somewhere, don't cut from the overall doll. That's my biggest thing. All right, so if you're listening, MJ, don't cut back on your dolls because I love it. Keep going. <laughs> so until next time, check out more stuff from me in the description below. Um, everything from Instagram to TikTok. I'm also on Whatnot where I've been letting go of some of my collection as that hard as hard as that is to say. Uh, just, you know, need to make space for new stuff. So <laughs> check me out on Whatnot. All right, until next time. Bye, everybody.